Welcome back, everybody, to this war of mine. My name is Bear. Erica is back with quite a few goodies. I believe we, uh, oh, we got raided last night as well, unfortunately. Uh, let's see what the damage is. Someone tried to rob us. That really meant business, but we managed to fend them off. We had some weapons, but not enough for everyone. None of us was wounded, and the others, or the attackers, didn't steal anything. Very nice. All right. Good. Apparently, uh, oh, wait a minute. What happened here? Do we get, oh, no. Is this a glitch? Ooh, this could be interesting. I think it... Did it duplicate our search results from a previous night? Because that would be kind of ridiculous. No, it didn't. Okay, because it was going to give us seven extra food. Oh, man. I wouldn't have said no to that, but that, that would feel kind of scummy if it had... Uh, if it had given us all those resources, so I'm kind of glad it didn't. But anyway, time for folks to get to sleep here. I think I'm going to send Roman and Erica off to bed to start off our day here, and uh, then I'm guessing Bruno's probably gonna have to cook up some food today. Resources are pretty good at the moment. I've got a lot of food, of course, that's not an issue. We've got a lot of alcohol as well to be able to hopefully create some bandages, some other medication that could help us out in the long run. Let's go ahead and have, uh, let's have, what is, what is your name here? What is, what is your name with your face? Why can't I click on you, first of all? Uh, Amelia. Amelia, that's your name. I remember now. See if we maybe have her go down there and start cooking up some stuff, or making some bandages, rather. Meanwhile, we're gonna have two fuel cooking up, make some good old meals. Should be able to just make four meals here today and, uh, get everybody fed. That'll be pretty good, have everybody fed for one day. Oh, we need herbs! Ooh! We need herbs. Other than that, we have everything we need to make these things. What do we need for cigarettes, though? We need components and tobacco. We can make that. Obviously, we don't want to use the herbs to make homegrown tobacco, but we can turn the tobacco into... Uh, not, not too much, actually. We need rolled up cigarettes to utilize the homegrown tobacco. Let's go ahead and make four cigarettes here with the tobacco we have on hand. I feel like that's a pretty worthwhile use of that resource. And then we'll have Bruno cook up a couple of meals. Uh, oh, we need some clean water. Okay, let's see. We can definitely get that. Do we have any... Hmm. I don't think we have filters. So we need to go make a filter. Let's have Bruno go down here and make that right there. And then we want to have a look at the broken guitar as well. That was an interesting point of discussion of whether or not the broken guitar was a better thing to prioritize over the broken assault rifle. And the fact that I have a, uh, I, I have a broken pistol at the moment, and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to utilize that. I don't know if I necessarily need an assault rifle because I don't imagine I'll be going into head-to-head -head combat or, you know, trying to engage people in combat ever, really. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing I want to avoid that at all costs. So... I'm thinking the assault rifle may be a later game thing, but right now I'm more worried about A, the heater problem, and oh, hang on, someone's at the door though. Hey, I brought something for you. Good, let's go ahead and make that. I'm gonna leave Amelia down here and I'm gonna have Bruno take care of this. They brought something for us. I've never, I've never heard somebody say that before. May I have a word with you? Yeah, we certainly can. There's two people here, which is interesting. Oh, we got Bruno talking to him. We live several blocks from here. We saw that you took refuge in this building, and since we're supposed to be neighbors, we decided to pay you a visit and say hello. We brought you some vegetables from our garden. Wow! Five vegetables just for nothing. Sure. Wow, that was convenient. You know, oh, you just gonna go? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's nice. Good. Five vegetables for nothing. Damn. All right, well, now we gotta get some more raw food, obviously. Let's go ahead and get this clean water going, too. Uh, Bruno's probably gonna take a nap here. There we go. Yep, so we're just gonna switch off with Roman here. I don't imagine I'm gonna be cooking until the clean water is done. Do I have to actually actively do this? I don't know why this stopped. Hang on a second. Now that's... That should... I feel like that should be going. Maybe if I get Roman to do something with it, that'll help out. Alright, Erica's done sleeping tonight as well. Everybody's hungry. Obviously, we want to try to get some food going. I guess that is an active task. I didn't realize we couldn't just passively allow rainwater to filter, but... Now I know. Lots of food now. This is this is phenomenal. Okay, so now we wait for it. That's right. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Let's have a uh, listen to the radio, perhaps. Get a little bit of extra info. I think everyone's in pretty good shape uh, mentally as well. I, I don't suspect we're going to have a lot of psychological issues uh, anytime soon, so that's good. Just listening for any possible information we can gather here. I don't know why sometimes this radio dial refuses to cooperate. Refuses to be grabbed. It's weird. Yeah, nothing doing here. Not a lot of information. Not a lot of valuable stuff. I'll just play some classical music and improve morale that way. Let's have a look, actually. Let's grab the, uh... 
the workshop and see if maybe we can fix this broken guitar right now. Uh, let's see, we have that. Okay, so we can make a guitar if we had seven more wood. Which could could be nice. We could like make a make a guitar circle and have somebody learn to learn to play. It only takes like two days to learn how to play a guitar professionally, right? That that's perfectly reasonable. Uh, this is taking a long time, actually. I didn't expect that to be so uh, arduous of a process. But avoid anyone armed, regardless of who they are. Yes, that's, that's the approach that I'm taking in my mind as well. I really feel as though. I'm much better off just not trying to uh, engage in combat whatsoever because I know that these characters are all very, very fragile. I mean, obviously Roman would be the one that I would want to ideally have uh, engage with somebody if I had to, but of course he's staying around to defend our house for that very reason. I want to try to keep him around here with the gun or with the knife that we have in order to protect the stuff we've already got as opposed to trying to take down people on the outside. So, that is likely not going to happen. Everybody's going to be pretty well rested. Unfortunately, we're still just waiting for the, uh, waiting for the water to filter before we can actually cook anything. No trades available. You know what I might do as well? I, I recognize that this was, uh, left as a comment a couple of times, so I should, uh, pay heed to it. The fact that I can send multiple people out to scavenge, although that's a little bit more risky, it does allow us to get a lot more resources to bring back over the course of a night. Alright, looks like Bruno may be able to cook here. He's no longer tired, so let's go ahead and grab this clean water that we've got from the filter. Might be able to get a couple more meals cooked up before the night is over. Before, before the day is over, rather. Yeah, that is entirely a possibility, though. I could consider uh, sending multiple people out to try to try to get a whole bunch of resources in one night. I might only do that if I know for a fact that I can go somewhere safely without worry of being killed. Like, if I've already cleared out an area and I know I can send two people at the same time, I might do it that way. But, of course, that is... That is still not a guaranteed thing. You never know what'll happen when you go to a certain place. Alright, hopefully Roman can actually finish this meal before the night is up. Let's see what happens. Oh, it looks like he's still hungry. Not sure what's gonna happen with that, unfortunately. I don't know whether or not we're gonna have that meal still by the time we get out over to the next day, but I suppose we'll find out. So, not a lot of new places today either. We certainly have our options pr are available still. We've got the military outposts, those who aim at each other during the day often trade with each other at night. So this is a possible trade opportunity. They really want alcohol or cigarettes, and we have a lot of pure alcohol. So what I could do is try to go for a trade at the military outpost and see if maybe I can get a whole bunch of food and meds for the alcohol that we've already got. And it's pure alcohol. I don't know if they uh, necessarily want moonshine, or just the pure alcohol. I imagine soldiers have no quarrel with just, you know, taking a bottle of hydrogen peroxide and dumping it down their gullet, right? That would be, that would be the, uh, the signs of the times, I suppose. So we're gonna have Roman stand guard again, of course. Uh, Bruno can sleep in the bed. Uh, these two are gonna just do their thing now. And yeah, I guess we're just gonna prepare, bring along four cigarettes as well as four alcohol. If I can find it. There we go. Maybe a lockpick as well that might help us out here. Alright. This should go good. I think this will, uh, I think this will go over pretty well, assuming I don't do anything stupid to get kicked out of the area right away. Suppose we'll find out. I've lost track whose side they're on. Okay, so. To begin with, they've got a big spotlight on me, of course, so I'm sure they can see me where I'm going right now. I'm kind of hoping maybe I can just go up here and talk to this guy. Clearly he's not ready to, like, shoot on sight because I would have just died as soon as I got in here. Let's see what we can do. He doesn't appear to be that interested in uh, talking to me, so maybe if I... I think I can scavenge this stuff and they won't get mad. We'll find out, I guess. Let's see if I can take anything from here. That's not really anything I want anyway, so... Well, you know what? Again, I'm going to employ that strategy of take everything I can get while I can and then just drop it later if I don't want it. So we'll do that for now. Uh, I don't know how far I can actually go into here without alerting someone or pissing someone off. Let's see if I can talk to this guy. Here, we'll just drop down this way. Don't even try anything stupid, just leave. Just leave, he says, so he doesn't even want me here. Uh, she doesn't know how to reach that place. Can I open this door? I don't know if they want me to be in this room. Oh god, oh god, run to the exit. Go, 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 go. Run! 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 Run to the exit! What are you doing? What are you doing? Go! What the hell was that? I clicked the button! 
Why? Oh god. I don't know. I was I was furiously clicking that button. I don't know why that didn't work. Maybe it's because the door wasn't open or something. I don't know. That was a oh god outbreak of crime in day eleven. That was a waste of a night. Shit. She got shot, man. I need help. It hurts. Oh Jesus. Erica has been searching for supplies. Brought back interesting things. Nothing bad happened. She is wounded. Oh crap. That's really bad. Alright, that meal is still there. That's nice. Let's go take care of this. We'll have her bandage herself up. Uh, Bruno's still hungry. Everyone else, I think, is a lot more hungry than him, though. Let's have Roman grab a meal and then rest up as well. Uh, Amelia can't really do much. I'll just have her... You know, I might filter some more clean water, actually. I think I need to do that. Hopefully we can have Erica and Bruno... Well, not even Bruno. Bruno doesn't need to rest. Hopefully we can have Her Erica and Roman just sleep for the entire day. Because this is a bad situ situation otherwise. Let's make uh, two of these filters here. She's going to get bandaged up. She's going to... Okay, she's, she's automatically going to go rest in bed now. Uh, Roman needs to rest as well, so he'll take the other one. And then I think I should try to make a couple more meals here to take care of the hunger problem. So let's go ahead and do that. I might have to feed Erica now, unfortunately. That was really bad. I, I don't understand that place, man. I don't know why... I don't know where the trade would be. I mean, I didn't I didn't approach that second guy, of course. Maybe I should go to him, but I don't think I can go back there anymore. I'm pretty sure every time I go back there, they're just going to get pissed off at me. So let's just maybe avoid that for the future. Try something else out. Man, that did not go well. I'm super sad about it. No, well, nonetheless, we got some food here now. Bruno doesn't really necessarily need to eat. I don't know what happened there. What the hell? What happened to the food? Bruno? Why did you not make two meals? You you were just doing that. Are they what? What? Why? Why? No. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Did I get another glitch? This has been a weird day. I've get, I've gone like glitch free for this entire game up to this point. Oh, this is really sad. I just lost out on two meals there, I think. Shit. I don't know what happened. I was cooking. Okay, l I, I just want to make sure this isn't user error, right? So I was clicking the meal thing. We were watching the meals cook, and then they were gone. Why? I I have no idea. Okay, whatever. Whatever. We'll move on. Not that not that huge of a degrading element to the game. It is honestly really. It sucks. It's really bad. That's a precious resource, man. Imagine if that was my la the last of my food. What would I have done then? That's terrible. Oh well. What can we make now? I need to make a pistol, man. I've been wor working on trying to get these weapon parts here, too. We can make this helmet. We could actually make this right now. Yeah, this isn't a bad idea. Let's go ahead and do that. We could leave this here, I guess. We could leave the helmet in the house, and then maybe Roman would be better protected, but we could also consider the possibility of sending Roman out with a gun? I don't know, maybe we could do that. That seems like a bad plan. I think we'd need, we'd need like a bulletproof vest and a better weapon or something before we could consider that option. We might even be able to trade this away for a lot of value. Give some protection against bullets and knives. I don't know, maybe it's not that high of a priority commodity wise for a lot of people it might not be that great should I just get drunk <laughs> I mean, it doesn't seem like the worst idea in the world right now love a cup of hot coffee as would I what else can we make here we can't make that we can make a lock pick I don't really know if we necessarily need one we need a broken shotgun to make the shotgun we need the broken pistol and the weapon parts what does the bone saw require a weapon part as well <laughs> bone saw bone saw saw blade that's what we want so yeah, weapon parts are in high demand right now for our for our troop. The hatchet. I don't know how useful that would be. It says to use that to chop furniture. I don't know if you can like hack at the armoire or something and try to get wood out of that. That would make sense. That would be a great way to use it. I would actually like it a lot if that were a possibility. Maybe we should look into making a hatchet as well. I'm going to try to get a whole bunch of weapon parts, of course, at some point. All right, she's bandaged and recovering. She should be okay. I might not be able to send her out scavenging tonight, unfortunately. I might have to have Roman go do it. But we'll have to see, I guess. So we're going to get more clean water here, and then Bruno's eventually going to be able to make another couple of meals. I don't know why the first two completely disappeared, but oh well. 
We have another filter, so we might as well have her come up here and do that, too. Alright. Two meals. Please don't disappear this time. I'd very much appreciate that. And then, other than that, we are in, uh, we are in good shape, man. She's hungry. Bruno's a little hungry. Erica is hungry and wounded. Roman's in good shape, but we're gonna make this one. Alright. We actually got the meals this time. Let's have Roman eat. I don't think Bruno necessarily needs to eat today, so let's have Bruno go ahead and sit down, and then we'll have uh, Amelia come over and have this second meal, I think is probably the best idea. Quite a feast, apparently. Wow, that's, that's pretty high praise for a guy making makeshift stews on a friggin' crock pot put together with Connect. Connect. Connects. <laughs> Connect cooking with this war of mine. That's a terrible crossover. Alright, everybody's in the uh, okay condition now. Again, I- ooh, well fed. Oh, jeez. Well, that's good. I didn't even realize you could get in that condition. I shouldn't feed Roman for a few days now, I guess. Uh, Alright, Erica's still healing up. Hopefully, she might be okay for tonight. I'm imagining what's gonna happen is she's gonna go down into slightly wounded territory, and that's usually okay. You can honestly just sleep that off most of the time. Although, if that is the case, I may want to consider just having her stay in the house and sleeping in the bed just to make sure she's in pre primo condition for the next couple of days. Nonetheless, everybody's pretty good to go. We've used up just about all of our resources, so the top priorities again, I'm gonna try to hold out to get components and wood from a trader that comes by our house. I'm thinking the weapon parts might be what we really want. Alright, so Erica definitely needs to sleep tonight, unfortunately. We're gonna have... We're gonna have Amelia scavenge, honestly. That might not be a terrible idea. She looks terrified at the thought, but <laughs> I guess I guess is what we need to do. So we'll have Bruno sleep in the bed, and Roman is going to stand guard, of course. Train in combat, he should be able to take care of things. The military outpost, unfortunately, is not really an option anymore. The small apartment building. This old apartment building used to be owned by an elderly couple and their son, but they fled before the siege. Better be careful if we decide to go there. I could try the construction site again. That's not a terrible idea. We know that there's a couple of guys here, but we know there's a lot of stuff there as well. And we could take a lockpick. Oh, although you know what we could do, actually? We could go to Central Square and bring a couple of people. And that way... We'd be almost guaranteed to get a whole bunch of valuable stuff. But I don't know how much more valuable stuff there is in the Central Square. Plus, I, I don't know if I'd rather keep that available for later on. Supermarket might still be good. You know what? Let's go to the supermarket. Let's bring Amelia to the supermarket tonight. We'll take the lockpick, and I think that'll be helpful. Yeah, that should be nice. And if I just get a bunch of components and wood, I consider that a success anyway, because we need those to build a couple of the... A couple of the necessities to survive later on. Alright, back to the supermarket. We'll, uh, we'll sprint down here for now. We're gonna get all the way down to this area, because I think if I unlock this door, we might find a few more very valuable things. Uh, I hope I didn't see anybody. I was kind of worried about that. We're going to open this up. I think we've already been in here. Oh, we need to take off these boards. That's right. And then hopefully be able to get in there and get some good stuff. So let's see what's inside of here. And then we'll probably use the lockpick on that cabinet. Because I imagine this is something like a weapons locker. That would be what I would keep down here, at least. If they were adhering to bear taffy standards, right? Ooh, this looks interesting. Two barrels. What could be in here, I wonder? Raw food. Okay, so that's a good start. We'll take a stack of, yeah, you know what, let's just fill up. Might as well do that right now. Give me something good here. Let's see something real good here. Ah, not that great. Okay, well, again, we'll just take what we can get at the moment. Uh, and I haven't even looked at this pile yet, I don't think. Let's see what's inside. Give me something nice. Uh, more of these. More components. It's gonna be a full stack. Get the sugar cubes going as well. Alright, well, nothing too great thus far. I was kind of hoping for a lot more behind that boarded door, but I'm not imagining I'm going to be finding a whole bunch of good stuff anymore around this place. There's some weapon parts. Definitely want to take those in place of the shell casing, so let's go ahead and do that. And probably use some parts as well. Let's drop the gunpowder in place of these, and then probably take the electrical parts as well. I'm going to drop... Uh, let's get rid of... Well, I mean, we're going to use the lockpick anyway. Let's go ahead and use this now, and then we we'll maybe come back to that one. This should be pretty good, though. This should be a pretty good haul for today, and Amelia probably won't have any problem with uh, whatever threats may be presented. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's two broken guitars here, and I prioritize those over the assault rifle. But look at this find. Wow. This was incredibly worth it for the lockpick. Very good. So we're going to drop four components, or uh, two component stacks, 
uh, in place of bandages, a cigarette, well, vegetables, of course, are going to be a high priority, too. I think I want to take all of this unique stuff. I'm going to drop a lot of the, uh, well, sugar cubes, of course, don't necessarily need that. I'm going to drop some wood. I'm going to take two broken guitars, a broken pistol, maybe some med ingredients, too. I don't know if I need two broken pistols, though. Maybe I shouldn't take this. I'll, I'll leave it here for later. I'm going to take that. I'm going to drop the, uh, the parts. I'm going to take the broken helmet, too. The damaged helmet, because we can, we can repair that pretty easily. Do I want the cigarette? Probably not. We'll leave that there. We'll come back for this stuff at some point, I'm sure. Alright, let's see what else we got going on here. Hoping to find some more weapon parts. If I can get a full stack of weapon parts before I came back, that would be fantastic. Have we checked behind this place? I think we might have already checked under this bed. We might as well give it another look before we head to the upstairs. I'm imagining that'll be where we go next. Oh, there's two med ingredients here. That is wonderful. Very good. Okay, that's going to be nice. Let's run over here and check out these two uh, piles there. Then we'll probably go over to the right side. I think I've already looked outside, though. I think I've looked at pretty much all of this area now. I think the supermarket is pretty picked clean at the moment. It's a really good location, though. I'm, I'm certainly happy that we uh, got the most out of it that we could. So, yeah, let's go back up here. I'm guessing on this floor maybe the only places I haven't really checked out that much, but there's probably not a ton left over. May just have to try to fill up these stacks here. Sugar cubes again. All right, so, yeah, there's not, not a lot left. But I'm glad we came back here because that lockpick alone was totally worth the trip. That was superior. All right, nothing good there. We'll check this big area one more time. I'm just kind of ruling out areas in my mind as we go, so just kind of going by process of elimination of what we can actually scavenge through here. Uh, again, similar stuff there. Oh, that's already open. Let's go ahead and just scavenge through that. And that should be the end of this area, right? That just doesn't go any further beyond that point. Uh, homegrown tobacco is tempting. We have more weapon parts, though, which is good. I might come back for this stuff, too. I mean, obviously, we're going to come back at some point. We might come back and get that specifically. Let's go ahead and run up here. Another pile. I don't think there's much outside this door. Yeah, I think it's just that inspectable element. I'm hoping for at least a full stack of weapon parts before we get out of here, but I'm not that hopeful for it. Oh, there's vegetables here. Wow. Well, there we go. That's nice. And uh, we can't take that, sadly. Vegetables are good, though. I can't believe I left those there. Shit. I'm glad we got them. Good, good, good. Maybe another stack. That could be nice. Uh, roll up cigarette. Okay. No parts, sadly. No weapon parts. Oh, this is boarded up. I might as well take the boards off this, too. Make navigation easier. Uh, and the more weapon parts. All right, good. There we go. We got three. We need five. We got three. We might still get them. We've got plenty of time. Four hours left before the sunrise. Just gonna collect... Actually, it might not have been a great idea to try to clear this up, but still... Already happening. Might as well open this up and go through here. Uh, no ex or, uh, no searchable areas. Uh, we have to go up this way, I think. Huh. Yeah, we gotta climb the ladder and probably jump over the... Jump over the gaps there. Let's see if maybe there's something inside of here. I'm basically only looking for weapon parts at this point. Let's oh my god, more food too. Very nice. Holy cow, how did I leave all that stuff behind the last time? Maybe I was running away or something? All the same, it's very good for now. And, uh, herbs! Ooh, we did need herbs, actually. Hmm. Maybe I don't need two broken guitars. Oh, but that could be very valuable trade-wise. I think I need to keep that. I'm gonna drop... I'm gonna drop the wood. I'm gonna take the herbs. I need the herbs to make medicine, so that seems worthwhile to me. Then let's try to find maybe another set of herbs over here somewhere. I don't think I saw any herbs downstairs. I'm pretty sure we didn't see any herbs down there, so we don't have to worry about that, whether or not we're uh, taking away the possibility of stacking this up to be more efficient, but still, very, very good find. This might be it. I might search this and then the stack down here, and that's probably going to do it for us in the supermarket. Uh, there's clean water everywhere, man. I kind of wish I would take that, but eh, it's not... Not a huge priority. I can always filter more with components. Components are going to take priority over clean water most of the time here anyway. All right, that is... Uh, I'm tempted to drop the herbs and just take another stack of wood, but... I think this is I think this is the best haul we could expect from this. This is insanely good still. 
I'm very happy about this, so let's go ahead and take off. Just one more check out Paranoia, just to make sure I'm not dropping something right at the start. That would be kind of silly. Alright, yeah, we're good. And hopefully I didn't miss out on any stacks to make that more optimal, but nonetheless, that is... That is exquisite. Very happy with that find. Amelia has returned, and hopefully we'll be okay for the next day. But nonetheless, thanks so much for watching this episode of This War of Mine, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Appreciate that a lot. We'll be back for day 12. I'll see you then.